Hey, this is Tom again, and uh, you can see I'm running this Genesis software again, and it's now 8.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time here in Florida, and uh, the noise level has gone up considerably. Um, boy, there was a big burst of noise there. Anyway, my object of this video is I tuned up my Can Studio screen capture software. Such a, oh, there's another burst of noise. Let me see uh, what's causing, let me try turning the fan off here. Now it's going to get hot in here. But anyway, uh, we're going to be getting those bursts of noises. Whoa, that was kind of bad. Oh, there's another one. Something's coming here and zapping me. No telling what that is. Let's try a different frequency. Okay, now we're down to 5 megahertz. See if it's a little quieter down there. Um, anyway, what I was saying was I got my settings for Cam Studio off of another computer because I had Cam Studio crash uh, a couple of days ago when I was trying to get this software working and record it and all that good stuff. Something went awry. And I had, before I had Opt optimized over the years cam studio to give me the the best quality picture but use the less amount of cpu and so i put those um, options in a few minutes ago and i'm now running it again to see how it does i did notice one thing that the file that cam studio creates with its default settings are huge it took almost an hour to upload the last show so we changed things and hopefully um, things will get a little better and hopefully I haven't degraded the quality of the video any um, one of the things I want to discuss today or now because I've already discussed things already today is um, one of the nice features and the feature I like the most about using a software-defined radio or an expensive radio, say $1,500, that has this feature is these displays. Um, the band display down there on the bottom, I think that's called a pan adapter, and then the waterfall display. Because I'm really, really into finding things on shortwave, not just necessarily locking on to a station such as China Radio or Radio Australia and just listening to it by the hour. I like to find things. Interesting things. There is so much stuff on shortwave. You know, people complain that um, shortwave is dead. Well, I agree. International broadcast stations have diminished greatly. So that is true. But as far as data and Signals on shortwave, there's still a ton of them out there. And it's, a, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a lot of fun to capture. So, <clears throat> boy, sciences are messed up again. <clears throat> Sorry for that. See if I can get through this. Um, so I really like these graphic displays, which if you've got a conventional shortwave radio, you can only go by what you hear. So there could be some signals down in the mud. Like there was one that just, I don't know if it got captured on the capture software, but there was a signal that just jumped through the screen there, right in this area right here. Because <clears throat> there are one classification of signals that you'll see quite often where it just zips right through whatever you're listening to. And it, you know, goes maybe a megahertz wide or two or five, 10 megahertz wide, and it'll just zip through there. And uh, another strange thing you'll find on shortwave. So I'm trying to test out uh, mainly in this video, the screens capture software and see if it's uh, working any better. It's 
doing less interference to the Genesis software here, but it's still doing a better capture. Because one thing I noticed about the previous video, as time went on in that video, the audio in the video got out of sync, and then they got way out of sync. And by the end of the video, the video was still playing, and the audio was over. I mean, it was seconds, uh, probably 10, maybe 15 seconds out of sync. So I kind of turned down some of the options under this capture software. For instance, the video fidelity or resolution. I turned that down back to what I used to have. Um, I'm using a different compressor instead of the standard Microsoft compressor. So that should help. And I uh, changed, I lowered the number of frames it captures. And hopefully it's still not choppy, but I don't lose sync with the audio. So anyway, that's what the purpose of this show is. And I'm going to end it right now. And thanks for watching. And thanks for bearing with me while I try to recover my setup on Cam Studio. Have a great day. Bye-bye.